Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, so I'm Sarah Watson. I'm Head of um, Energy and Low Carbon at Coventry City Council. So I'm going to talk to you today um, about a European-funded programme. Um, we're currently within the first year of the second phase of the programme. It's a support programme for small to medium-sized enterprises, so that's small to medium-sized businesses in Coventry and Warwickshire. Um, and the aim of the programme is to help businesses become more energy efficient, to save carbon, to save money off their energy bills, and ultimately to reinvest that money that they save within their business. Um, so there's a definition here of an SME, so it's less than 250 employees, um, have an annual turnover not exceeding 50 million um, euros, or an annual balance sheet not exceeding 43 million euros. Um, and have at least 50% of sales to business to business. So the first programme um, ran for three years um, and 1.5 million pounds worth of grants were awarded. Sorry. Okay, no, that's okay. Um, and these were awarded to 73, 73 um, businesses within Coventry and Warwickshire. Um, we saved over 11,000 tonnes of carbon, which is actually quite considerable amount of carbon. Um, 60 new jobs were created through the energy savings and the money being released back into the businesses. We conducted 88 um, audits and 300 <coughs> local organisations joined the, the Green Business Network, which I'll talk about a little bit later. And the new programme launched this year. It's very similar to the last programme. However, we can also give um, resource efficiency grants, so not just energy grants. Um, we also, again, do free audits, so we can come and do a free audit of um, businesses looking at everything um, from the building fabric um, to kind of machinery, to waste, to water. Um, also part of the programme, you can have membership to the Green Business Network, which is free to any company based in Coventry and Warwickshire. You don't have to be an SME. Um, access specialist support. One-to-one um, -one support, so we have partners with Coventry University and Coventry University Enterprises. So if there's areas um, that the business wants more in-depth support on, we can provide that through our partners. And we also run free events, workshops as well. So the audits. So when we go out and do an audit, um, depending on the size of the business, it could be two hours, it could be a day. Um, and we'll literally look at everything in, in that building, on that site. And we also look at the bills to see whether um, paying too much, whether there are any um, extra charges, hidden charges. We found companies that are paying for the company next door within their bills, and we benchmark um, the company. Um, and we look at literally everything that is using energy or resources. Um, we then produce a report that will list all the ways that the business can save either energy, water, and waste. It'll look at the costs of that the investment required and the payback periods. Um, quite often with LED lighting, it's usually within two years. Um, so replacing like, the old fluorescent tubes with LED lights will pay back very, very quickly. Um, it could be insulation, it could be longer term, but if a business is gonna be in, a, in their building for longer than five years, there's quite a lot of things that can be done that will pay back. So the grants, they are 40%, so that's a non-repayable back, so you get 40% of whatever cost you paid out, and they can be up to 50K. Um, but it must save carbon, so if it can save carbon, usually we can give it a grant. Typical measures could be LED lighting, like I mentioned, it could be heating, energy efficient equipment, so replacing old equipment for, for kind of more energy efficient equipment. Um, transformers, we do power factor correction, any renewable technologies, so it could be solar PV, it could be a heat pump, um, ventilation, heating, um, refrigeration, and also recycling and waste, so it could be balers or compactors to help them save um, on the energy and, and the actual waste collections. Um, and the only other thing is match funding can't be via another public sector grant. So the Green Business Network, um, this is a free network to join. There's loads of events and workshops. These are all on our website. Um, we try and run an event every month. And there's also um, signposts to other events that are relevant that, that perhaps we don't run, but are, are really interesting. Um, there's a monthly newsletter where we send out kind of any topical news, any changes in legislation, um, any best practice that's out there. Um, we also provide everyone with a membership certificate to say that they're part of the Green Business Network. We can provide um, a kind of energy policy. Um, part of the network, being part of the network, does help 
So if anyone's going for any tender documents, um, they can tick, actually, we're part of this network that we are trying really hard to work on our green credentials, and, and it, really, it really has helped businesses. Um, you also get access to our networking directory of all the local suppliers. So if you do want to change your lighting, there is always a directory on our website that suggests local suppliers. And um, we currently have over 750 organisations within the network that all come to events. So this is the Green Business Programme contact details. Um, so these will be sent around afterwards on the slides. But I'm now going to quickly talk about Coventry and climate change. So these are some of the um, photographs of um, Coventry. So Coventry um, isn't exempt from climate change. We've got things happening in the city already. Um, we have surface water flooding examples there. Um, snow, so when it snows, the, the kind of the whole city, well, the whole country comes to a standstill. Um, but no, it isn't exempt to climate change, and we do need to, to work to tackle it. So these are Coventry's carbon emissions. Again, similar to Nottingham, they're split very equally, a third, a third, a third, between transport, domestic, and um, business. Um, you can see on the graph that industry and commercial has reduced, domestic has reduced. Um, transport will be a challenge going forward. Um, but I think that will be covered later. So um, our current strategy ends next year um, and we actually set a target to um, reduce our carbon emissions by 27.5% by 2020. We did hit this target early in 2014, six years early, so we're currently due for a complete rewrite for the strategy. Um, so what are we doing currently? Um, I'm just going to quickly go through this slide because I think this will be covered in a lot more detail later on. So we're looking at all these different options, um, energy efficient street lighting, that's happened. Um, we've placed all the kind of traffic signs as well. Taxis, buses, heat line, recycle roads. I'll leave that one there because I think that's coming on later. So the current climate change strategy um, we're hopefully going to be producing this within the next kind of six to nine months. It'll be very high level. We'll be working on our vision for the city. We'll be setting our carbon budget, our carbon target for the city, and our objectives. Out of that will then come an action plan of actually how we're going to achieve this within the carbon budgets that we've set. So these are the areas that we're going to be looking at. Um, domestic, transport, industry. Across that will be planning and environment, so looking at the green infrastructure. Across all those, again, will be education and skills, so making sure that we're upskilling and skilling the people to actually bring this whole new revolution into play. And also energy. So Coventry and Warwickshire is already an energy innovation zone, um, which means that we can look to put kind of more innovative solutions to our kind of heating, cooling um, of all our buildings and the city in the future. Um, we're currently just doing a feasibility study for Coventry for the mine water in Coventry to see if that's a potential um, new heating source. So that would be great if it is. Um, so Coventry did have a very large mining um, background. It goes actually under the whole of the city, so potentially that could be something. Um, so do you want to help? Um, this is something that we're looking at at the moment, which is um, it's the National Lottery Community Fund. Um, it's £100 million, it's available to, it says on the website, between 10 and 15 applicants, so we would really like to be part of this as a city. Um, it's communities, but it also is businesses, it's schools, it's any kind of social organisations as well, and we really want to get the city to join together to kind of get a big chunk of this money that's available. So it's all on our Let's Talk platform at Coventry, so if you want to log on to that or, or email Coventry gov.uk if you want to be part of it because we're looking to put in a, a bid as a, a joint bid for the city so to get everyone together and look at the different areas that we can we can work together to help tackle okay so that's a bit of a whistle stop tour so thank you <laughs>